what's going on? We're down here at uh, Hunsley Heights Apartments right now. Um, we are getting ready to start the dirt work. We're gonna prep this pad and get ready to start the next building. Yep, phase two, starting soon. So we'll go ahead and walk you around. We kind of like left it this like industrial look, you know, kind of all like rusty looking on the staircases right here, a parking lot. And then we'll have more parking down there as well. But here's the other building that's going right here. And then we're going to have it be the exact same one that we just uh, finished building. Yeah, we had to do this in two phases. So the next building will be the exact same as this. Three stories, same colors, floor plans, layouts, everything. We're hoping to start that within the next two weeks. Yeah, so we're going to kind of show you out here about like this pad. So we actually have our pad already finished up. Thing is, too, is that a lot of people think you can just come back out here and get started on it. Well, you can see right here where our building is going to start and sit. Um, this pad's already been done. We actually did it in phase one, but that was over, I guess, almost a year ago since we did that. Yeah. But all the problem you, you can see now is you have a bunch of, bunch of like vegetation out there already coming in everywhere else. Yeah. And you really don't want to go, especially a pad sitting there that long. What I mean by the pad is where our apartment building's going to sit. You don't want it to sit there that long. Um, especially, you know, because it dries out, maybe your compaction is not there anymore. And you really want to make sure you're really over that 95% compaction when you're doing a uh, build. Yeah, it's had rain, people driving on it, snow come through. So this is the most important part of the build is the dirt and your foundation. So we want to make sure that everything is compacted really nice before we move forward and just make sure that it's all ready to go. It does, you know, it does kind of suck because you got to get them back out here. You got to pay to re-scrape it all. So what we're gonna do on this uh, pad that's already been finished, we're gonna go ahead and scrape it down uh, or rip it down about uh, 12 inches or so. And that's gonna get rid of, obviously, it's gonna rip it all back down and we're gonna compact it back up every you know six inches or so and get it back to where we want it and then make sure our compaction rate and our numbers are hitting. And so what we do as far as the numbers go is obviously we have somebody that's you know better at their job than as far as dirt work yeah. goes, we'll have our commercial guys out here. They'll be taking care of all that. And then also we use an engineering company here in town and they actually come out and do all those dirt work numbers. Yeah. So it's not like me and Kendall are out here actually trying to make sure these numbers are hitting right. Mm -hmm. We actually have a very, we pay for it, um, but it's worth it. I mean, very just like good. she said, it's a very important part of the job. So it's nice to have that firm come out and then they'll, they'll make that sure they hit those numbers, you know, every, every six inches to 12 inches. Um, on your on your dirt work out here yeah they'll come out here with all their lasers and everyone will make sure everything's ready ready for foundation ready to go and that way we don't have any problems and you know the best part too is is you don't have to be a professional you know pad pad builder or, you know anything like that you can have guys that we that's why we have our guys in place that are very good at what they do and they come out and they can handle this task and then we can get those numbers we can submit them to the city and then we can also you know go through to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be but the nice thing is when your pad's already done like this mm -hmm. is it's going to be a real probably a one two day process we'll come out here scrape it rip it down and, and yeah. then we'll be back and ready to go again but yeah whenever we're doing actual dirt work itself yeah i mean our those engineers are out here quite a bit testing the dirt. I mean, it, it was a, a long, long process for sure. Yeah, it's just really important. Like Bo said, it's not fun to get people back out here to do all this, but it is worth it to pay to have them come, make sure it's good to go versus moving forward and pouring your foundation and then everything is not right. You can see right here, we got our utilities ran over already because we already did our parking lot everywhere else. Um, we're gonna get a temporary uh, utility pole and then go ahead and our building's gonna come over about to about 15, 20 feet from this other side where you can see kind of my little retaining wall over there. And we'll get this parking lot poured probably at the end. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and get all this scraped and kind of get it prepped and get it ready to go. But make sure, you know, like we said, whenever you are gonna do, if your pad's been sitting there for a long time, this is not a new pad, this is an existing pad. If it's been sitting there for a long time, make sure you go and you do this. Get it get it scraped, get it ripped down at least six inches or so, depending on the weight of your building. Um, and you want to make sure that you're 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 doing all those extra things so you don't have any sinking or settling in your, your house. Yeah. <laughs> and the th same thing too, you know, the building's gonna sit right here, but we left this parking lot the way it is half done so that we can store materials because as you can see this lot's very tight so it gives us extra space for our guys to park to store extra materials storage containers all the stuff like that so we had to plan that out pretty pretty carefully 
Yeah, and, that, and that's one of the main things too is like like she said, that's really all this is is planning, planning to make sure you get your dirt guys out here on time, your plumbers, your footings, and you know the concrete guys. It's just uh, lining scheduling. everybody up and, and scheduling everything, and so that's why it's good that when you have a a woman GC on the job, she can make sure that you're really on top of things and scheduling. <laughs> we got checklists, spreadsheets, all the things. But yeah, that's it. So here's the, I'll show you the building again. Here it is right here. And it's a 12 unit, two bedroom, two bathroom. And they're all around 950 square feet. Yeah, right under a thousand. Yeah, so it's a 12,000 square, 12, square foot building. We did the same layout all the way through too. So that made it, that made it really nice of having the same uh, layout just because plumbing's all stacked up on top of each other. Mm -hmm. I will tell you though, doing commercial like this, um, it is a lot more expensive. You know, so if you're wanting to do multifamily and you yeah. do multifamily residential, like doing houses or townhomes all together, you will save a lot more money in, in my opinion because you don't have just all the extra, you know, because you go three story, it does get a little bit more, a little bit more pricey. Well, and all the steel and, you know, prices have just been kind of crazy. So that was a big learning curve for us right when we started COVID, all that stuff was going on. So the three story definitely hit us sometimes with unexpected costs. And now we know that, so we'll just be prepared. Yeah, and then, you know, some little things too, like that you want to do is uh, out here when they start dirt work and you are close by people, especially in a big project like this is making sure you have your uh, temporary fence. You yeah. know, we're going to put a temporary fence all the way around the sides and all the way up here. and. Then it kind of keeps all your materials safe too because it does get very expensive all that stuff out here yeah and with with an apartment building already here and tenants living there we will have material on the inside to block any dirt blowing and another big thing is these silt fences right here because anytime it rains or snows you don't want any dirt runoff things like that will really help in the long run yeah that silt fence is a, a big one yeah. All the way around right here. You can actually get this at Lowe's or Home Depot is what we did. Yep. And then we just had these like little bitty like wrought iron pieces and we just put them in every every so often all the way down. And then that does, it keeps your parking lot from looking like crap out here all the time. And We will keep you guys updated. This is just the beginning of this next project we're gonna start and we kind of want to walk you through it in phases. And so we'll keep you updated through the whole thing, walk you through everything, answer any questions you have, just everything you need to know. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.